County Health officials are reporting two new cases of E. coli linked to the San Diego County Fair. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. These latest cases involve two young children who visited the fair's animal exhibits. News 8's Brandon Lewis is live at the County Health Department tonight with this health alert. Brandon? Well, the children are ages two and four years old tonight. The four year old child remains in the hospital. They're there for complications related to E. coli and doctors are also monitoring the four year old for any kidney conditions that might develop like the one that killed a two year old boy last month. Two more children are recovering from E. coli illness, likely connected to the San Diego Fair. Both reported visiting the animals before the exhibits closed and more cases are still possible. I expect that we will learn about more cases and uh, a number of weeks down the road, we may have a very good picture as to why this happened. So far, seven children showed symptoms of E. coli illness. Four are confirmed cases, including a two-year-old who passed away. Three are considered probable. The latest cases are a two- and four-year-old. The younger patient is recovering at home while the older child remains in the hospital. All reported some type of interaction with animals, but there is no single place that every child visited. This organism is a natural bacteria for some of the animals that are at the fair. So sheep and goats and cows actually can have this bacteria in their stomachs or in their uh, feces, and um, it doesn't cause them any problems at all. The two-year-old who died developed a kidney condition that proved fatal. Doctors are keeping a close eye on the four-year-old who remains in the hospital, but so far they are not showing any signs of kidney problems. Meanwhile, investigators are reviewing several other cases to see if they are related to this outbreak. I think and expect that there will be more cases that are reported over the coming weeks, but we won't know really whether it's all put together until a little after that. The health department previously said it was only likely the cases are related to the fair, but now with seven cases, investigators are more confident in their theory. Still, they're waiting for genetic testing to be sure. I think that they are in fact related. This is a, an outbreak and uh, we will get much more detail as lab tests come in. Again, the health department says it is possible that we could learn about some additional cases either over the weekend or next week. Now, as we have for your new at 630, we'll talk a little bit about the testing that's underway and about how it's easier, cheaper and more accurate testing to help identify some of these cases. For now, we'll send things back to you in the studio.